Hello, I'm Chaplain R.T. Byram for Through the Gathering Storm Productions. Five Minutes to Live By is a series of, of short Bible studies to help all of us to deal with living in this non-perfect world. Why does God consider fellowship among Christian believers as being so important? Well, too many times Christians show up in a church, they leave right after service for their favorite restaurant and feel that they have fulfilled their calling. But is that indeed all there is to accepting the sacrifice of Jesus Christ? Well, what about putting our offerings in the plate each week? Surely that lays up great rewards in heaven. And what's the big deal about fellowshipping with others of like mind? Well, the Apostle John wrote these words in 1 John 1, verses 3 through 7. We proclaim to you what we have seen and heard, so that you also may have fellowship with us. And our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his Son, purifies us from all sin. You see, there's a linkage described there that goes back to the days when Jesus walked this earth among men and had direct fellowship with his apostles. The apostles, in turn, were connected through Jesus with the Father. And then John explains that through teaching and being in fellowship with believers, they were also in fellowship with God. So the witness of what was seen and what was heard has been passed down through the ages of the Holy Bible. And by the preaching of the word, by God-fearing shepherds. It is then, through the fellowship of Christian peers, that we encourage and gently correct one another as children purified from all sin under the blood of Jesus. The world is, is a place filled with temptation and immorality. Individuality and individually, we are not strong enough to stand against the powers of darkness in high places. There is, however, strength in numbers, and that comes from joining with others of like mind. In the very last book in the Old Testament, there's an important message recorded in Malachi 3.16, showing that even before the birth of the Messiah, God revealed his desire for believers to cling to one another. Listen to this. Then those who feared the Lord talked with each other, and the Lord listened and heard a scroll of remembrance was written in his presence concerning those who feared the Lord and honored his name. So how incredible is that? The Lord listens, and he hears those who talk with each other about their awe and their worship of God. In the Father's presence, their names were recorded on a scroll. Now, if a mayor gave you the keys to a city or a governor made you an honorary colonel or a king knighted you, how overwhelming would that be? But all that pales into insignificance if we understand that the creator of the entire universe and every living creature hears us speaking about him among ourselves. And he has our name recorded on a heavenly scroll. And even more awesome is this promise Jesus made to all of us as found in Matthew 18, verse 20. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Whether we gather in his name with believers around a dinner table or join in a Bible study, or meet informally on a front porch, with the King of kings and the Lord of lords, he is in our midst. Please, don't miss a single message. And remember that you can also follow us on our podcast at throughthegatheringstorm.info. And until next time, this is Chaplain R.T. Byram asking God's blessing on you and on yours.